Swelling of the chest or breast is common after breast cancer or melanoma cancer and radiation. Sometimes the swelling is temporary and goes away once someone is done healing, but for others, the swelling can be lymphedema, which can last long term. My name is Kelly and I am a physical therapist that specializes in oncology rehab and lymphedema. In this video, I'm going to explain how we treat and reduce swelling and lymphedema in the breast and chest area. Before we begin, make sure that you subscribe down below for weekly new videos. You can also join us on Instagram for more related content on cancer recovery, and you can check out our website for other resources. So there are four main treatment options to help reduce and manage breast swelling. Along with these, there are other ways and specific tools that someone can use to help them reduce swelling and pain. First is lymphatic drainage. Lymphatic drainage is a main treatment of lymphedema of the breast. Lymphatic drainage is a massage-like technique that is done in a specific sequence with a special technique to move fluid out of a congested area to reduce the fluid. This will also help improve someone's skin texture and help avoid infections. A certified lymphedema therapist can perform this, but it may be something you need to do long term and learning how to do it yourself at home can be really beneficial. On my website, I have various printable handouts with step-by-step -step instructions for lymphatic drainage and also a diagram in which you can follow along with in which direction to massage towards for both the left side of the body, the right side of the body, as well as for both sides. I will place a link to these up above or in the description box down below that you can check out further. I also have a handful of videos on my channel for lymphatic drainage sequencing that you can check out. Another important treatment option for lymphedema of the breast is compression. Compression is a well-known form of treatment for swelling or lymphedema anywhere in the body, including the arms and the legs, but also for the breast area. It's used to support the chest in the same way as someone would wear a compression sleeve for the arm or a compression stocking for the leg. By giving comfortable compression to the chest and the breast area, this can help reduce the volume of swelling and also help reduce pain levels. A regular bra is not going to be helpful, and if anything, a regular bra can actually run the risk of making the swelling even worse because it can cause a tourniquet effect in certain areas which will block the pathways. The best compression option is a compression bra. Compression bras look like sports bras, but they are made specifically for lymphedema. This is one option from Prairie Wear. Prairie Wear has a wonderful line of compression bras that come in a very large range of sizes with the ability to adjust. They have removable cups, so they can be worn to shape for someone, or they can actually also be removed and they will lay flat for someone who had a mastectomy. They are high and wide on the sides for full coverage, which will really help get any stubborn areas on the side of the chest or the breast area. And they also have a smooth band on the bottom without any wire, so you won't get that tourniquet effect to make the swelling worse. They also zip up in the front to make it easier to get on and off. And they also come with an extension piece that you can put on the, in the inside to again adjust for sizing that may fluctuate day to day. Prairie Wear really has two different options at this time. They have their Hugger Prima, which is more full coverage and for someone who may have more moderate to significant lymphedema, it's gonna come up a lot higher, a lot more full coverage on the sides and also more full coverage in the back. And then they also have the Hugger Vita, which you can see has thinner straps. It's not as full coverage in the back, but it's a nice, great option for someone who may have more mild to moderate swelling, who may not need as much full coverage. And so you can find all of this information as well as how to look for sizing, which is really easy. They have it really spelled out with one measurement that you need to look for to figure out what size you're gonna be. And so I will place links in the description box down below for where you can find more information on the Prairie Wear compression bras. So the third treatment option is going to be a swell spot. It's an insert that also gives compression. 
It can go inside a compression bra or tank top to give that extra compression. It has foam chip pieces on the inside. These chips are a gentle way to soften the skin for any hardening or thickening from fibrosis, which is that scarring and thickening that occurs due to lymphedema and the fluid sitting there too long. Or it, the fibrosis can also be due to radiation. They come in various shapes and sizes to fit what someone might need. And so this is a sample of a breast swell spot that fits in the front and will actually wrap around the side of the body to again, make sure we're getting the areas that might swell on the side that can be a little bit more stubborn. So they come in about three different sizes of this. They also have what they call a lateral breast swell spot. So it's just for that side swelling and will not give you coverage at the chest or the breast itself. And then you can also get different sizes. Some are just different sides of round ones. There are a couple different other shapes to look for. And there are even small ones that you can look for if you're looking for just a small pocket of swelling. And this is just a handful of all of the ones that they have. So there, again, are various sizes and styles to choose from. And I will place links for some of the most popular options specifically for breast and chest swelling in the description box below. And then the last treatment option we're going to talk about in this video is exercise. We know that the muscles in the body act as a pump to the lymphatic system, and this can help to work to move fluid out of a congested area. Exercise is best done with compression worn to be the most effective for lymphedema. So if someone has a compression bra, that's best to wear during their exercise if they can. I have various exercise videos on my channel that you can follow along with for both lymphatic drainage and strengthening, and I'll place a playlist up above as well as down below. There are other treatment options that we aren't going to get into in this video, but these are the main few. You can check out my other resources if you want to dig deeper into the ways to manage breast lymphedema or any other topics for breast cancer recovery. I hope you found this video helpful and we'll see you all in the next video. Thanks everyone.